You still with me? Good. Right, so now what we'll do is the first passing pose. So if we go back to my little um, plan that I went for here, we can see that the passing pose is going to happen in between um, 1 and 13, which puts it at frame 7. So let's go to frame 7, which is right here. And we need to do some work on this. So what we'll do first of all is work out what we're going to do with each foot. So we're going to work on the back foot first, the one that is actually passing. So I'm going to make sure that I select that. And then when I go to frame seven, I still know which is which. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the foot brake, which sounds like a really good way for your car to roll down a hill, doesn't it? <laughs> Wordplay. OK, so I remove the foot brake, set that to zero. I'm also going to change the foot roll. So I'm just going to click on that middle mouse button. And what I want to do is I'm just going to turn this around so that it's kind of pointing straight down. Now this will look very much like I'm ripping the leg off, but I'm going to repair that by changing uh, the position as well. So something like that, I think for now. So that'll do for that foot just for the time being. So it's just raised a little bit off the ground. Um, and then I'm going to select the standing foot and from this one, I'm going to remove both the foot roll and the foot break. There we go. And that kind of puts that nicely standing on the ground. So the last thing for me to do now is I'm just going to select the hips and move that up so that he gets a little higher like that. Right. So that pose I'm actually pretty happy with. So you can see because we've got auto key turned on, I've got uh, keyframes already on seven because of the changes I made. Yay. So that's saved a bit of time. So that's set up the first passing pose. In the next step, we'll be setting up the second passing pose where we need to reverse everything.